hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's on tutorial in this video i discuss about assignment 4 solution of effective writing here you can see that the first question is the response to a complaint letter should not be first neutral second sympathetic third excessively positive fourth none of the above so the explanation of question number first is here Response to complete letter is be positive and announce to good news. Use a neutral approach. Avoid being excessively positive. Provide solid reason. Be sympathetic. So the correct answer is question number first is option number C. Question number second. Which point among the following must be kept in the mind while writing a claim letter? Express your inconvenience without restraint. Second, justify your claim. Third, add scarjum. Fourth, enclose copies of invoice, order, and receipt. So the explanation of question number second is here. Complaint a claim letter is justify your claim. Enclose copy of invoice, order, of receipt. Express your inconvenience with restraint. So the correct answer is question number. Second is option number C. Question number third. Which among the following is a feature of report? First objective, second flexible language, third subjective, fourth imaginative. So the explanation of question number third is here. Report is objective, well defined audience based on fact and investigation. Highly structured language to be concise and concrete can be present orderly, can be written on demand. Is report and other writing is subjective, varied audience, self expression, scope of autonomy, flexible. So, the correct answer is question number third is option number A objective. Question number fourth dash report is used to monitor operation. First recommendation, second periodic feasibility, yardstick. So, the explanation of question number four is here periodic report to monitor operation so the correct answer is question number 4 is option number b b question number 5 which statement among the following is true about a summary between 5 to 10 percent of the report second 2 percent of the entire report third there are no conclusion fourth it does not have any figure so the explanation of question number 5 is here Summary is entire report in nutshell high, highlight the most important feature between 5 to 10 percent of the report. So the correct answer is question number 5 is option number A. Question number 6 is dash is a list of both textual reference and other work which ignite the writer thinking which may be not may be seated in the text of the e.g. SAR report. First reference, second acknowledgement, third bibliography fourth header so the explanation of question number six is here bibliography and list of reference is a list of both textual reference and other works which ignite with which the writer thinking but could not be seated in the text of the essay report so the correct answer is question number six is option number c question number seven which option of the following from the following can be included in a report? I have some doubt in this question. So I can't tick the option. I later put the comment in the comment box. Question number 8. Is a language full of technical yeah, a special word which is in the particular profession? So the explanation of question number 8 is here. Jargon is a language full of technical yes special word. So the correct answer is question number eight is option number D. Question number nine. Which among the following is not a type of creative writing? Report, drama, poem, screenplay. So the explanation of question number nine is here. Type of creating writing is poetry, prose, drama, epics, short stories, novel, screenplay, song. So the correct answer is question number nine is option number a question number 10 which dash means interpreting together 
so the explanation of question number 10 is here select the key greek word meaning the interpreting together so the correct answer is question number 10 is option number c so thank you guys we will meet in the next assignment